San Francisco. Within its 45 square miles is contained one of the most colorful and romantic cities in the world. Approaching from the south, the traveler views with sudden excitement the city thrusting its white towers into the blue California sky. But it is from the east that the city reveals its famous profile, framed by the silver towers of the Bay Bridge. Seen from the north, the distant city crowns the tip of the peninsula that reaches into the broad waters of the surrounding bay. The gigantic portals of the mighty bridge that spans the Golden Gate provide a dramatic entry. From the outskirts, let us now move directly into the very heart of the city, the well-planned Civic Center. The City Hall dominates the square, which is flanked by the main public library, the State Building, and the Civic Auditorium. Behind the City Hall lie the Veterans Building, and the War Memorial Opera House, which was the birthplace of the United Nations. Credited with having stopped the onslaught of the 1906 fire, Venice Avenue still remains one of San Francisco's broadest thoroughfares. San Francisco is a city of many hills, and Telegraph Hill is perhaps the most famous. Here was located the lookout station of early days. A semaphore from which the hill derived its name signaled to ships approaching through the Golden Gate. A mecca for tourists, the hill provides a magnificent view of the bay and its man-made wonders. Eight and a half miles in length, the Bay Bridge is the longest bridge in the world. It is actually a two-unit span divided in the middle by Yerba Buena Island. To the left of Yerba Buena lies man-made Treasure Island, site of the 1939 World's Fair. Ships from the four corners of the earth find their way to San Francisco's Embarcadero. Famous for its infamous residence, Alcatraz Prison, alias The Rock. Stretching across the gateway to the Orient is the longest single span in the world, the mighty Golden Gate Bridge. At the foot of the hill lies colorful Fisherman's Wharf. Reminiscent of a Mediterranean scene, the wharf captures a bit of sunny Italy. Quaint seafood grottos and fine restaurants invite the gourmet. Typical of the wharf are the steaming kettles of the sidewalk crab stands. The supply of fresh fish and seafood is brought in daily by sturdy little craft that berth in the lagoon behind the restaurants.
between Fisherman's Wharf and the Golden Gate Bridge lies the fashionable marina district with its handsome yacht harbor. This is the marina district of today, but perhaps this old photograph will remind old timers that this was the site of the 1915 Panama Pacific International Exposition. An architectural gem, the crumbling Palace of Fine Arts is the only exposition building remaining today. Driving along the northern end of the peninsula, we reach the salient point that provides the closest view of the Golden Gate Bridge. California Palace of the Legion of Honor, one of San Francisco's finest museums, is an exact replica of the Legion of Honor in Paris. The once gay resort of the 90s is now a modern restaurant fronting the Pacific Ocean and overlooking Seals Rocks. A ride on the newly installed Sky Tram should be included in the tourist itinerary. Just below the Cliff House is a year-round amusement park. of picturesque motor roads lead us through the largest man-made park in the world. Created out of a wilderness of shifting sand dunes, over 1,000 acres of verdant meadows, shady lanes, colorful gardens, and beautiful lakes make Golden Gate Park one of the wonders of the world. In a centrally located area of public buildings stands the De Young Museum visited by more people than any museum in the country. A fascinating collection of fish and reptiles from all over the world are displayed at the Steinhardt Aquarium. Within this block-long conservatory is a veritable paradise of rare tropical plants. The surrounding gardens offer an ever-changing display of colorful seasonal blooms. In the exquisite Japanese tea garden, 
exotic pagodas create the atmosphere of the Far East. Blooming cherry blossoms enhance the beauty of moon bridges arching quiet lagoons. Scattered throughout the park are numerous lakes with their colorful waterfowl. This lake is a mecca for hobbyists who come to sail the miniature boats, while Stowe Lake attracts those with a taste for rowing. Rising from the center of this lake is a rugged island with its plunging waterfall. Emerging from the park not far from where we entered, we continue our travels on the Great Highway, paralleling the Pacific Ocean. Of course, no tour of San Francisco is complete without a visit to the zoo. Could Darwin have been right? For children of all ages, a ride on the miniature train is a thrilling experience. Leaving the recreational areas that border the ocean, we turn eastward toward the heart of the city. In the center of the city rise San Francisco's famous Twin Peaks.
Reached by a spiraling road, the summit commands a spectacular view of the encircling city. Market Street, the main arterial through the downtown area, stretches like a broad ribbon from Twin Peaks to the ferry building. intersection of Powell and Market Streets in downtown San Francisco is located one of the terminals of the Powell Street cable car line. To reverse their direction, the cable cars are pushed onto the unique turntable and swung around manually by the motorman or the conductor, much to the delight of the riders and spectators. These jaunty little relics of bygone days form a romantic link in San Francisco's transportation system. Invented here in 1873 to travel over the steep hills, the cable cars have become a symbol of San Francisco. Knob Hill, we cross the California cable car line. The cars can be distinguished by their difference in color. On this route, we pass several of San Francisco's most renowned hotels. Aboard one of these venerable little cars, one enjoys a bell ringing excursion up and down the San Francisco hills. Where the West meets the Orient, Grant Avenue, the heart of Chinatown. Along this narrow pagoded street hovers the exotic spirit of this Oriental colony, the largest settlement of Chinese in the world outside of Asia. Bazaars and curio shops invite you to examine choices of jade, silks, and rare antiques. to the interesting places one may visit in San Francisco. The ferry building, the churches and colleges. Or the tourist may prefer a leisurely drive along the many scenic boulevards. For the true adventurer, there is that final thrill, a ride down the world's most crooked streets. Eight hairpin turns in a single block.
San Francisco, the cosmopolitan city. Queen of the Pacific. The city by the Golden Gate. Truly the city of many wonders.